Approximately one in 200 pregnancies will be affected by a condition called placenta previa. There are varying degrees of severity and in its most severe form will always require a caesarean section. When the egg is fertilised and comes into the uterus, it attaches to the wall of the uterus at some position. And most pregnancies will embed into the wall of the uterus, somewhere near the top of the uterus or on the front or back wall. A very small proportion embed lower down in the uterus, very close to the cervix. For most of those people, this doesn't matter because as the uterus distends, as the baby gets bigger and more mature, the uterine wall stretches and where the placenta is attached appears to move further away from the neck of the wall. And the analogy I would use is that if you draw a dot on a balloon before you blow it up fairly near to the mouthpiece of the balloon, as you blow it up, that dot will move further away from the mouthpiece. Where implantation of that pregnancy has occurred very low down, in what will be the lowest part of the, the uterus, um, it doesn't attach so well and it doesn't pick up quite such a good blood supply. And that can be important both for the growth of the baby, but also for the birth of the baby. Because if the cervix, which is normally closed, has to open to 10 centimetres to allow the baby to be born, then if the placenta is very close to the cervix, as the cervix opens, it will strip away the placenta and that part of the placenta will bleed and that puts the baby at, at risk. At the 20-week anomaly scan, the sonographer will locate the placenta. If it's seen to be at the lower end of the uterus nearest to the cervix, the recommendation would be to check again after 32 weeks of pregnancy to see where it's lying then. In the final weeks of pregnancy, the growing uterus is pulled upwards and so the low-lying placenta will move too. In many cases, the placenta will then be seen to be far enough away from the cervix for a normal vaginal birth. If the placenta is still either too near to the cervix or even over it, then a caesarean section will be necessary.